So our O give or cumulative frequency histogram, what this is, is we're just going to accumulate the data as we move through. In order to do this, let's get rid of the histogram that we've already drawn and let's start again. And we'll start again by updating our frequency table. So to do that, let's draw another column for us to work with. And we'll carry this on and we'll carry this on. And what we're going to look at in this case here, I'm going to be taking a look at a relative. Uh, again, wrong tool. I'm going to take a look at a cumulative relative frequency. So a cumulative, and I've been using this fancy kind of cursive F for relative frequency. So cumulative relative frequency. What we're looking at in each case is how many observations are in the bin that we're talking about or lower. So our first bin, well, in our first bin, we just have 5% of observations. In the second bin, well, cumulative relative frequency in the second bin, we have 5%, but this and lower, 5% and 5%, that's going to give us 10%. Carrying on, third bin, 25, and then this 10 that's lower. So we'll have 35 in there, and then carrying on 50 and 35 lower is going to be 85. And finally, this should be our last bin should have 100% of the observations being this value or smaller. You do not sum a cumulative relative or a cumulative actual frequency. There is no need to. It makes no sense to. We would deal with it just in this sense here. What we would then do is we could graph this just in the same way we were graphing our histograms. And we could... Let's just... Do this underneath so we have a bit of room here. Vertical, horizontal axes, and what we would do is this would be our cumulative relative frequency 100%, cutting it in half, we would have 0.5. 0 0.25, 0 0.75, and then 0 0.125, 0 0.375, 0 0.675, 0 0.825, and up and up and up. Our horizontal, this is our variable. Again, this is our kilometers distance from school. We will do another little truncation of it, starting at four, not starting at two. So four, six, eight, 10, 12, and 14. That works a bit better. So, okay, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and 14. So from here, same as what we did with our histogram, we're just gonna go to our frequency table. We're gonna pull out the cumulative relative frequency and just build up from there. So first one, four up to six is 5%. That's gonna be barely anything given my scale in this case here. Next one at 10%, that's gonna cut just below here. So let's see if I can do that. Just below there. Eight up to 10. That's going to be 35%. So that was 25, 37.5. So just below that tick. Something like that, we'll suppose. And then 10 to 12, that is 85%. So 75, somewhere about there. Let's try to make that a straight line. Out there. And our final one all the way up at 
and we have our ogive or cumulative histogram. Again, we could shade in these bars. And ideally, right, again, on a computer, some things are nice, some things are tougher. For example, using a ruler is not so nice. And ideally, we would not want this little gap in here. These bars are, again, touching just as they were during that other histogram that we drew. Big difference in this case, we have a cumulative histogram. That is, each of these bars is representing the observations in this bin and smaller. So we could say, hey, 85% of students live closer than 12K. So how we can read, how we can utilize this OGIV or cumulative histogram. If you have any questions about any of this data visualization or any parts that we covered, qualitative versus quantitative data, as well as bar charts, pie charts, histograms, or OGIVs, feel free to reach out to me, email D12 Frequently Asked Questions, or drop in to one of our office hours. Thanks.